I will be using this month's color palette. So first, I'm going to choose the dark green for the background. I'm going to be using Drawing Assist. So first, I'm going to turn on Guides, Edit Guides, and choose Symmetry. I'm using the Monoline brush in white. And I'll begin by drawing a curved line for the neck and body of the vase, and then attach at the bottom. For the mouth of the vase, start with two straight lines, and then connect with a curved line. Use the eraser tool to clean up any areas if necessary. Add a new layer, still using the monoline brush, this time in the mid-tone green. Draw a straight line right down the middle for the main stem, then draw an almond shape to make the central leaf. Draw a few more straight and curved lines to add more stems. Make sure to attach all your stems to the central stem. Add an anchor leaf on the left and one on the right. Now let's move on to our flower buds. Add a new layer below the leaf layer. We're going to use an egg shape for our flower buds, which is just an oval that's a little narrower at the bottom. Make sure to vary the sizes and colors. Now let's go back to our leaf layer and add a few more leaves to fill in the gap. Add little almond shapes to complete the stems of the buds. Now let's add some details and texture. Turn on Alpha Lock on the flower bud layer. Choose your favorite texture brush. I'm using the Gouache Shader 1 brush from Retro Supply Company. I'm going to use a dark coral color for the texture here. Since this pink is so light, I'll switch to the lighter coral color for the texture on this one. Now I'll switch to the dry ink brush change the color to white, and add a few line details. Now turn on Alpha Lock on the leaves and stems layer, switch to the dark green, and add lines to the leaves. And stay loose with this, you don't want any of the line details to be too straight or precise. Now we're going to add water to our vase. So make a new layer, switch back to the monoline brush, this time in blue. Draw a curve for the water line, then follow the shape of the vase. Fill the shape with color and reduce the opacity of this layer. Turn Alpha Lock on and use your texture brush in white to add a little dimension along the right side. Now drag the vase layer to the top so the water and stems appear to be inside the vase. I'm just going to add a couple more stems in the water. Lastly, I'll create a new layer and just add a few dot clusters resembling baby's breath to finish it off. Select all your layers and reposition if it's not centered. 
and you're done.